Okay, here we are. We have the, uh, if you, those of you following me or uh, people who uh, um, are looking to get into a Dobsonian, I have one other previous video when I first purchased this uh, a few uh, a month or so ago. This is the Skywatcher Flex Tube Dobsonian Collapsible 8 inch um, telescope with the go-to technology to sync scan. Um, so I've had it, like I said, I've had it about a month. I've gotten to use it a number of, a few times. Um, <clears throat> I'm an amateur astronomer, uh, really just a fan. I'm, I'm far from uh, an astronomer. But, but anyway, purpose of my video, uh, this, uh, that, uh, some people, uh, they're maybe looking to get into these go-tos. Um, in general, these Dobsonians, now the, what makes it a Dobsonian is the mount, is that circular Lazy Susan style round mount with the azimuth base, which is the base that can go up and down and back and forth, as opposed to one of those equator, equatorial mounts with the tripod. Uh, the difference between this and, say, my other choice was the Mead. XL um, XT125, which was a Mac Cassegrain, uh, Mac Cassegrain style tube as opposed to a reflector, um, is this is a little bulkier. You have to remove the tube, which isn't, it was very, it slides off, but it's a little more involved uh, as far as managing, moving it from one area to another. It collapses, it's light, it's just have to be careful with it. It's a little more involved than, say, picking up a tripod, folding it, and bringing the whole thing out and setting it up outside. But anyway, these give you the best bang for your buck as far as deep space viewing, uh, crystal clear images, and so forth. I mean, good. you get a really awesome amount of light brought in, and that's really the name of the game when you're talking about looking at stars, deep space, nebula, planets, the craters, the intricacies and so forth but um again <clears throat> uh extra you have to buy is the uh, generator um i got that on amazon uh that's just a power generator so lithium ion you plug in and it lasts a long long time uh and it runs off of that so you, it's portable so you can bring it around uh comes with two lenses comes with a they're, they're both super plazos comes with a 10 millimeter now remember the the higher the number, the smaller the lens diameter, which means the more magnification, the smaller the area that you're going to see. It's magnifying. Think of it as like a microscope. So the smaller the hole, the smaller smaller the aperture, the smaller the diameter of the lens, the more power, the less light you're going to be getting in, the more power you're going to get in. So you're looking at the moon you'll be seeing the craters up close with this. The larger um, the larger lens it comes with is a 25. And these, again, these are both a plazal. 25, you can see clearly it's a lot larger. That gives you a wider area. So when you're scanning the heavens, you're scanning the deep space, you're going to see a lot more area, which if you're looking at a, a, a star cluster or another galaxy or um, one of the, uh, like the M27 or M31, you'll be able to see that with the larger uh, lens. The higher the number, the more, the wider area, the larger um, area of the sky you'll be able to see. So if you're scanning, if I'm scanning the, uh, the universe, this is what you want, the higher the... Um, the lens. Now, the, the bigger your telescope, the lot more aperture, the higher the lens number you can you could take. So this is an eight, a twelve. You can go up higher. So anyway, um, the name of the game with these telescopes are are the lenses. So the two super plaza lenses came in are basic. It's close in close close up and far away. Again, so to get um, a better experience, I decided to get. A, invest in a good, you know, mid-range, um, you know, starter lens set. And together with the Barlow lens, I got an awful lot 
of viewing options here. Okay, so anyway, this is the Mead 4000 Super Plasso, the Series 4000, comes with the case, and it, it gives you a, a very wide, wide variety of lenses, and these are all nice, heavy, well-constructed um, pieces of optics. Again, they're Super Plazos. They start out with a 40. Now, for an 8-inch Dobsonian, um, I think 40 is is as good as I want to go. These are all 52-degree field of view, I believe, which is what the uh, telescope comes with. Again, this is the this is the 10 millimeter that came with the telescope, and it's a 52-degree field of view. But again, the smaller the um, the diameter, the lower the number, the more powerful the thing. So it goes down. It comes with the 40, comes with the 32, and these all have fold-up eye caps, eye relief for if you're wearing glasses or so forth. Have the has the black inner lining uh, to ref, you know keep down the reflections and so forth. So these are pretty good quality. So we got 32s. Uh, we got 15. A 12.4, a 9.7, and then the smallest and most powerful would be the 6.4. And it also comes with, again, the Barlow. Now, this is a good, pretty good quality Barlow. It's not plastic. It's metal. Uh, so it's a pretty good um, uh, Barlow lens. Now, you know, the Barlow increases the magnification so um if i put this nine this 6.4 in the barlow lens it's going to double the power so it'll be this will make this uh it'll make this magnify twice as strong and that goes for all of these lenses so you can combine so I have a six-piece lens set with the Barlow. Technically, I have 12 pieces. Also comes with a full set, a, a fairly full set of, of color filters. There's a general, that's a general broadband filter. And these all, um, depending on how, how much you get into um, astronomy, these all... And it comes with a nice, simple summary on what each color lens um, guides you to, to, to the use each color lens. The so blues are good for looking at certain aspects of Jupiter and Saturn. Yellow as well. Uh, green, you could see that ice caps of uh, Mars. Or yellow, you could see the storm. Or the red, you could see the storms. The ice storms uh, or the uh, atmospheric storms uh, of um, of Saturn and so forth um, cuts down some of the brightness. If you're looking at the moon, this will cut down a lot of the um, brightness on a bright, bright full moon. It kind of washes it out, so this tones it down and allows you to look at the different features. And because there's different colors, like Jupiter has all those all the bands and the storms and the different colors, these allow, and it, again, it lists each lens, gives you a little summary on which planet or so forth, which, uh, what benefits you'll get from using each of these lenses, uh, these lens filter, uh, colored filters. And it comes with a key for a lock, and it's a nice case. comes with very good plastic cases to protect the lenses, so uh, it's pretty good. I think this was around $180, $160, I forget. Uh, but it's, it's a very good, uh, it really makes um, my telescope complete for what I use it for. I got an awful lot of viewing options, probably more than I need. Um, but it makes it more exciting. Um, you know, if I'm looking at Jupiter... I can 
change some of the lenses around and see the different, um, you know, different characteristics of the red eye and the storms and so forth, or the belts um, of Venus, um, you know, the uh, the rings of Saturn and so forth. So. Um, again, your lenses really make your telescope. So, uh, that's why the store-bought telescopes really, they come with really cheap, cheap lenses. Uh, you're not going to get, um, the best images. Uh, and, and these are fairly decent. These are far, these are not the top of the line. You have televues, which, you know, a teleview lens can go for a single lens, can go upwards to eight, nine hundred dollars. Um, so, but these are super plazos for, for, for what I use it for in this telescope. It, this is a good set for me. I'm not looking to, uh, at this time, to spend, to invest any more. I, I really, not in, until I get more into it. And I, that's what I suggest. But this is an excellent, excellent starter set or addition set for um, for this telescope or for a Mead. And the, obviously it's a Mead brand and this is a Skywatcher brand, but this they are fully compatible with most telescopes. And the higher the aperture like this, the more, um, the more of a, a choice you have of, of the lenses. So um, just do your research on before you go and buy um, lenses, uh, research that you're not buying a lens that's too, maybe has too much of a field of view for the aperture of your telescope. So, all right, so hope this helps out. Again, this is the, uh, the Mead Series 4000 lens set and filter set. Any questions, comments, please leave them up below. And thanks for watching.